Hey guys, Game Prime here. Welcome to Thursday. Mmm. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man! God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it to me. Fine dining? <laughs> Don't worry about the details. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. Fine dining and breathing. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? All right, time to find the fish. Rice dishes, meat dishes, salad dishes, fish dishes. I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great, too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamoshida fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. <sighs> how did a child like this end up in here? 
I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. All right. Gotta get some rice dishes, some meat, and some dessert. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Let's go grab some meat. Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going too. What is he going to discuss with the higher ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Just gotta get some dessert now. Oh, up close it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... Uh, I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, Let's head back to the others. You brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I was thinking that too, but take a bite! Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different! <laughs> Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... 
knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. Feels like no matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. My dog feels multiple sizes too small. Oh yeah. This is a victory for all of us. That was tough. We won because we did it together. Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? <laughs> we don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the? There's still no update on the case. And not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We were here first. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. What's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. You not feeling good? He almost never eats well after all. Plus, I'm always stuck eating canned cat food. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. 
thanks, though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Uh, it always feels like this. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! There are a lot of victims. I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as phantom thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this power, we may be able to help people. But... That means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Hm. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. Uh, how about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilé? Tile, uh, what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Oh no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Team name may be seen by others when using network services. Please be, ca be cautious not to enter any personal information. Well, my cat goes absolutely apeshit in the house. Furthermore, please do not enter a name that could be considered offensive. So let's see. Sometimes I just keep it as the phantoms, but uh, let me see what I can do. Let's go with this name. Huh. That's not bad at all. A good name. For a rookie. We going with that? Yeah, sure. Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? 
There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a celebrity? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then. This is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. Summary of the story has been summed up. All right. Spent all of our money on the buffet, but we officially established a Phantom Thief, so it was totally worth it. Still got some money left over. Phantom Thief, huh? I'm liking the sound of that. Hope you really help people. I'm curious about the Phantom Officiant and Auto website, too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More important, importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there was this approval rating thing, but it was only like 6%. Slow. Yep. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we keep taking down big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. Alright, so now we finally unlock the Thieves' Den. Uh, we can access the Thieves' Den from th this menu or the title screen. Thieves Den, you'll be able to do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You may unlock more with story progression, so stop by now and then. Uh, Thieves Den is nothing that we can, you know, n nothing that um, the main story has anything to do with. It's just kind of a fun side thing, so we'll, we'll tackle that some other time. But yeah, let me send this uh, celebratory pick I took for today. Celebrating the founding of the Phantom Thieves and celebrating us, us crushing that classy buffet. You can cool with all the celebrating any time now. Wait, you took that while I was eating? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I did. You just never stopped eating. Anyways, this is our start as the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna take the whole world by storm. All the shitty adults in the world better watch out for us. And they better watch out. Alright. Finally can 
give this thing some more nutrients. Oh. So that was about a uh, three weeks it took for for it to need nutrients again. Ooh, and looks like we might get a rank up too. Yes, kindness up to considerate. Nice. All right. Yes. Cool. That's good. Now we just need our knowledge to go up even more. Hey. Hey. Let's uh let's boost our knowledge here and call it a day. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh let's study and boost our knowledge that way. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Unless can I go out? No. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure your clothes up. Wow. Well, you can answer these difficult problems. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should be wow. getting there at least for knowledge. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate. You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. What rehabilitation? I shall explain it to you now. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, innate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Three increases persona stock to eight slots. All right. Awesome. To eight. The time has come. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Sometimes the person you meet in town can become your confidant. If your goals align, you may build a former contract with them. As your relationship deepens, your rank with that confidence will increase. This will allow you to create even stronger personas. Do your best to find confidence and strength in these relationships. Well, we'll try for tomorrow, and I will see you guys then.